Title V made a lot of changes and a lot of things have been improved in White Knight Chronicle 2. For example, the battle system uh, is much faster than White Knight Chronicle 1. White Knight Chronicle is turn-based uh, battles, but uh, when you try to charge action gauge uh, that can be charged twice as fast as the first one. Or uh, we have uh, many new skills like uh, skills and spells and that makes battle more fast paced and interactive. Graphics are also improved so uh, you can play White Knight Chronicle 1 with White Knight Chronicle 2 battle system. So it's like uh, you uh, you might feel like you're playing a different game even if you play White Knight Chronicle 1 before. Uh, one of the biggest changes in White Knight Chronicle 2 is multiplay. Uh, now multiplay can be played with up to six people instead of four uh, in the original title. The story continues one year after White Knight Chronicle International Edition and the uh, story itself uh, is a continuation of White Knight Chronicle 1 but uh, you might feel like this is a, a different episode of the story when you start White Knight Chronicle 2 but uh, as you play uh, all the elements of the story holds together and at the end you uh, find out that uh, real ending is in White Knight Chronicle 2. White Knight Chronicle 2 also includes the remastered version of White Knight Chronicle International Edition and the price will be $59.95 and uh, the release date is September 13th. You can also start from the second uh, part uh, by carrying over the save data from the international version. Uh, if you can uh, if you clear the White Knight Chronicle 1 uh, and if you have the clear data, you can carry it over to White Knight Chronicle 2. And uh, the character's appearance, skills, or items can be carried over, but uh, the character's level will be reset to 35.